This is Twit. Um, the first question that has graced our mailbox this week comes in from, and here's the thing. This person is from Denmark, and their name is spelled O-L-E. That could be Ollie. It could be Ole. It could be Ole. It could be any number of things. And so forgive me uh, for mispronouncing your name, but we're going to go with Ole, uh, who has written in and says, I heard of a feature on Linux that allows you to cut and paste your entire drive. The use case I have is that I have a 500 gigabyte drive that is finally getting a little tight. I plan on replacing it with a four terabyte drive. I understood that on Linux, there's a feature akin to Snapshot uh, on a Synology NAS that would allow me to move my system and files from one drive to another without having to install the operating system again and maintain my existing partition system. Is it possible? And how would I do that? So when you are talking about uh, this whole copy and paste thing, it sounds to me like the thing you're thinking about out is DD, which is also known as Disk Dump. But here's the thing. Disk Dump has another name, a nickname, and that name is Disk Destroyer. <laughs> uh, and that is because Disk Dump or Disk Destroyer is very, 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 very powerful. Okay? Hopefully that's enough varies. Um, when we're talking about powerful in terms of computers, uh, particularly things that have to do with code, most of the time what that means when someone says, oh, that's a powerful tool, that's a powerful utility, is that it is something that can really mess stuff up. It has very deep uh, control of the system and control of the data and can mess things up. So before you think about using uh, Disk Dump or Disk Destroyer, uh, make sure you've got backups in place. Um, and then I'm going to talk about a couple of other options that are available to you. Uh, so with Disk Dump, the way that it works is you connect both that 500 gigabyte drive that you have and the four terabyte drive that you are planning on using. Um, identify the names of the devices and their path. So you can use uh, F disk um, with and we'll include a, a link in the show notes that has information all about disk dump. But basically, you try to find out what the drive names are and their path, and then you clone the drive using disk dump. So what it will do is it grabs the entirety of that 500, 500 gigabyte drive and moves it to that four terabyte drive. Now, here's the thing. When you do that, it does keep it in its current partition, which is what you've asked for. But understand that that means that the partitions are going to be the same size as the original drive. So if you move that 500 gigabyte chunk over to your four terabyte drive, you're basically creating a little partition on that drive that's 500 gigabytes. So you are going to need to use something like Gparted or Parted to resize the partitions on that new four terabyte drive to utilize the space after the fact. So whereas you can do that up front, just understand that it's keeping it kind of in its same little storage chunk, but that's the only way to do it to maintain the system and everything else in this kind of quick and easy copy and paste way as you're talking about. The other option is to use rsync. Now, if you use rsync, this is something that is powerful, but it's safer. It is not as easy to mess everything up. Uh, you should still do a backup, but using uh, rsync is going to require you to partition the drive on that new drive. So you need to use gparted or parted to create the same partition uh, layout on the new drive. And then of course, you know, change the size as is necessary. You format those drives with the same file systems. Uh, and then you can copy that data over with rsync and then also reinstall the bootloader. So yes, more complicated, but it is a little bit safer, especially if you use something like, um, if you use something like the, the and now the, the term is escaping me, but basically the, the more wordy version of rsync where it's going to give you all of the information about it. Now, I am seeing something pop up in chat a few times, and this is the third option. Uh, and so I want to cover this one, which is that it's a pretty easy 
tool to use. It's called Clonezilla. So with Clonezilla, you can simply use this tool, which is a disk cloning and imaging tool, to clone the disk, that 500 gigabyte drive, and put it onto the destination drive. And then after you clone, you can resize that partition on the new drive. So it works a little bit like disk dump, a little bit like DD, but it's a little bit more user friendly. Uh, and it can also be booted from a USB drive. So you plug in that USB drive with Clonezilla running on it, uh, boot it, and then say, hey, I want this moved over here, you move it over there, and then afterwards you can change the size of the partition so you've got not just that 500 gigabytes that you're nearly about to run out of, but access to the whole thing while all of your files still remain on there. So, if we're giving Ole exactly what Ole asked for, DD, disk dump, is probably what you had heard about and what you were thinking of. R-Sync is a little more involved and is not at all what you were asking for, but is a uh, verbose was the word I was looking for earlier, um, a, a powerful and sort of safer way to move files over. And it's a little bit less like moving an image over and more like moving files over. And then the last option, which is the popular option, is Clonezilla, which is a third party tool. So that is probably given that you said um, I understand that on Linux, there's a feature akin to Snapshot. That's where I think you were probably thinking about uh, Disk Dump. But Clonezilla is a great choice for you. So thank you, Ole, for writing in. And if you want to, you can write in and tell me how horribly I mispronounced your name or how perfectly I pronounced your name. Who knows? Who knows?